If you want to know the best feel-good movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. Let's get pumped! This is the place where dreams are made or destroyed. Depends on how you feel about working at a water park. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Oh, I, uh, I jumped out of a helicopter yesterday into the ocean and had a shark fight. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty is an adventure comedy drama film directed by Ben Stiller and stars him alongside Kristen Wiig, Shirley MacLaine, Adam Scott, Katherine Hahn, and Sean Penn. This tale of what life can mean if we make the best out of it begins with Walt, a super ordinary guy, invisible to everyone in the world, soon losing his job. As he is suddenly forced to step out to the world to save his career, he quickly finds himself on unbelievable adventures across the globe without recognizing it. There's something here! There's a pin here, I think! We are traveling through a porpoise school! Don't fear the porpoise! I don't think it's a poor post! Number 9 You have a young boy with Down syndrome in the middle of nowhere. I'm the one that's been taking care of him because he can't do it unless you put him in a cage. The Peanut Butter Falcon follows the life of Zach, a young man with Down syndrome who escapes from a retirement home to pursue his dream of becoming a wrestling champion. Directed by Tyler Nelson and released in 2019, the comedy-drama film stars Shia LaBeouf, Dakota Johnson, and Zach Gotzigan in lead roles. Despite a limited theatrical release, the movie was a box office success and received positive reviews from the critics and audience alike. I'm sorry to break up your little primitive gang or whatever is going on, but this is not Lord of the Flies. You can't just, there, there's rules, there's regulations, okay. he has medication, there's yeah. paperwork. Yeah, all right, well, while you've been doing paperwork, we've been doing something called living. Ain't that right, bud? Yeah. Number eight. Oh my God, what, what are you guys doing? Daddy it, had chest pains. Oh, are you, really? Yeah, you, I'm sure it's just indigestion. Midnight in Paris is a 2011 fantasy comedy film written and directed by Woody Allen and stars Owen Wilson, Rachel McAdams, Kathy Bates, and Adrian Brody. This sweetly sentimental story follows a family moving to Paris because of business and two young lovers engaged to marry each other. It's about a man's love for the wonders of a beautiful city and the illusion that a life different from ours would be much better. Gil, why are you so dressed up? Me? No, 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 I'm not. I, I, I've been writing. I was just doing a little writing. What, you dress up and put on cologne to write? No, no, I took a sh I, I jumped in the shower just for a second, just because you know how I think better in the shower and I get the, the positive ions going in there? Number seven. And she speaks. Yes, sir, I do. Which one? Both. Geometry and speaking. Hidden Figures is a biographical drama film directed by Theodore Melfi and stars Taraji P. Henson, Octavia Spencer, Janelle Monet, Kevin Costner, Kristen Dunst, and Jim Parsons. This undeniably heartwarming piece of black cultural celebration explores a fascinating and pivotal moment of American history. It follows three brilliant female African-American mathematicians at NASA who are the minds behind the mission to launch astronaut John Glenn into space and furthermore elevate the American space program. But in times of cultural divide and racism, being the smartest in the room is often overlooked. You think you can find me the Frenet frame for this data? Using the gram schmidt Orthogonalization algorithm? Yes, sir. I prefer it over Euclidean coordinates. Number six. My parents are in town. They're visiting and they're coming around. Oh God, parents? American parents? Mm -hmm. When? Now. About Time is a 2013 romantic comedy drama film and stars Domhnall Gleeson, Rachel McAdams, and Bill Nye. At 21, Tim Lake discovers that he can travel back in time. Moving from the Cornwall coast to London to train as a lawyer, Tim finally meets the beautiful but precarious Mary. As his unusual life progresses, Tim discovers that his unique gift cannot save him from sorrows, ups and downs that are familiar to all families around the world. Do, do I live here? Oh, definitely not. Okay, um, are we having sex? Uh, it... Yeah, but not oral. I wasn't going to mention oral. Okay, good, don't. <laughs> How did you think that was going to come up? Number five. 
The jury's still out on which way these guys will go, but they're a lot of fun. And John Taylor is one of the most proficient bass players in the UK at the moment. Sing Street is a musical coming-of-age comedy drama film written and directed by John Carney and stars Ferdia walsh Pilo, Lucy Boynton, Aidan Gillen, Jack Rayner, and Kelly Thornton. Enlightened by a truly charming cast and irresistible optimism, Sing Street is the story of a naive and overly enthusiastic boy on his mission to win the heart of an aspiring model. It's 1985 and the world is thirsty for rock stars, so why not form a rock and roll band? He embarks on an unforgettable journey of youth, stupidity, and finding your way in life. This lasts forever. It's the perfect mixture of music and visuals. It's short to the point. Look at us. Number four. They have hot dogs. What's cola? Poison water. Oh, can I have the grilled cheese? No. Captain Fantastic is a comedy drama film written and directed by Matt Ross and stars Viggo Mortensen, Frank Langella, Catherine Hahn, and Steve Zahn. Parents want to protect and raise their children so that their offspring become the best they can ever be. For Ben, this means raising them isolated from society in Washington forests to coexist with nature and be fit, athletic human spirits. But after a tragic event, he is forced to take his family into the outside world for the first time. Dad, can I have a hamburger and fries? Can I have pancakes? Okay. Everyone up. We're out of here. What? No, why? Because there's no actual food on this menu. Let's go. Number three. Boys, we'll be right back. Y'all talk about quarterbacks or something. <laughs> You'll make it, Mr. Skeeter Coca-Cola. Yes, the Help is a 2011 period drama film written and directed by Tate Taylor and stars Jessica Chastain, Viola Davis, Bryce Dallas Howard, Allison Janey, Octavia Spencer and Emma Stone. The film recounts the story of young white woman and aspiring journalist Eugenia Skeeter Fallon during the civil rights movement of the 1960s. The story focuses on Skeeter's relationship with two black maids. She decides to write a book from the point of view of the maids, exposing the racism they are faced with as they work for white families. I applied for a job, but Mrs. Stein just She thought, said no. <laughs> well, until I gained some experience, see? It says right there, great potential, gain some experience, and please apply again. Number two. You mean diction like in what way? Like in the only way the word is ever used? Okay. Green Book is a 2018 biographical comedy drama film directed by Peter Farelli and stars Viggo Mortensen, Mahershala Ali, and Linda Cardellini. Inspired by a true story, the working-class Italian-American bouncer Tony Vialonga becomes the driver and bodyguard of an African-American classical pianist on his concert tour through the Deep South in the 1960s. Despite their different personalities, the two men soon build a deep friendship while confronting discrimination and racism. Now I gotta worry about what people think about the way I talk? There are simple techniques I can teach you that are quite effective. I can help you. Why are you breaking my balls? Because you can do better, Mr. Vialonga. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Sexy. Let's not try to impress them all at once. Huh? That will not be a challenge. Lewis is kind of over this place. I told you I'm not long for here. No, I remember that conversation in 2003, 5, 11, April. You know, sure, right? I can't eat that now. Just because something looks ugly doesn't mean that it's morally wrong. You think dead children aren't morally wrong? No, I'm just saying that if you took up-close pictures of my vagina while I was on my period, it would be disturbing, but it doesn't make it wrong. Excuse me? I feel like I don't have to hide mine when I'm around you. You know, I've been thinking about it a lot recently, and I've realized that if you're not busy being born, you're busy dying. Number one. <laughs> The Intouchables is a 2011 French buddy comedy drama film by Olivier Nakache and Eric Toledano and stars Francois Cluzet and Omar Sy. In Paris, the intellectual Philippe is a quadriplegic millionaire who is interviewing candidates for the position of his live-in carer. The young offender Driss turns up for an interview, but he is not really looking to get the job. 
To his surprise, the rich man hires him and Driss moves to the mansion, changing the boring life of Philippe and his employees. Pas ça, business? Non. C'est parce que c'est la seule trace de notre passage sur Terre. Une connerie, ça, Philippe. Moi, pour 50 euros, je vais chez Castro et je vous la fais la trace de mon passage sur Terre. Je vous mets même du beurre bonus si vous voulez. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.